So hi, hello, good morning, guys. So our second problem this top this week is this one. So how do we In this, in the clevis shown in Figure One Dash Eleven B, find the minimum bolt diameter and the minimum thickness of each yoke that will support a load. So may applied load tayo dito, guys. And meron din tayong applied shearing stress and then bearing stress. So given na yung shearing and bearing stress natin. So analyze natin yung problem. Hello? Ay, shocks mali. So ayan, pala. So ito yung ano natin, guys. Ito yung drawing natin, okay? Ito yung figure natin. So kailangan daw natin makuha yung diameter nung pin natin sa loob tapos yung thickness yung thickness ng each yoke. So, assume natin, guys, na equal yung thickness nila. Pare-parehas yan ng value ng thickness. Okay? So, solve natin siya. In, ano? Dito sa whiteboard. So, ayan. So, we have here. Wala. So, yan. So, meron tayong load. So, meron tayong load na equals to 14 kips or gawin natin 14,000 pounds. Okay? Yung kips, big sabihin nun, kilo pounds. Okay? Meron tayong shearing stress na equals to 12,000 PSI or 12 KSI. So, ayan. So, mapapansin nyo, guys. Mapapansin nyo yung shearing stress and bearing stress natin. Mas malaki palagi yung bearing stress natin. Okay? And then, bearing stress is equals to 20,000 PSI. Okay? So, ayan siya. And then, find that diameter and thickness ng ano natin. So, pati siya siya solve ngayon. So, balik tayo. So, ano tayo ngayon sa formula natin? Okay? So, pag that, so ano tayo? Yun nga. First, tignan natin yung mga formula muna natin. We have formula for shearing is equals to P over A or tapos for bearing is equals to technically uh, P over A then or P over distance the I diameter thickness. Dito sa shearing stress natin, kung mapapansin nyo yung problem natin guys, yung ano shearing ano siya double shear siya okay double shear itong problem natin hindi lang siya single shear so kung double shear siya guys kung double shear yung formula natin for shearing stress dapat maging 2a so magiging p over 2 pi d squared over 4 b ay over yan d squared over 4 so ito yung formula natin for shearing stress Kung mapapansin nyo guys, dito sa shearing stress, isa lang yung unknown. Distance yung I, diameter yung unknown. While sa bearing, bearing stress is dalawa. Diameter tsaka thickness. So mas magandang mag-solve muna palagi doon sa may isang unknown lang. So dito tayo ngayon mag-focus sa shearing stress or 4 volt. Okay? 4 volt. So shearing stress is equals to ganyan, 2 pi d squared over 4 or Cancelled na yan, magiging 2 na lang. So, shearing stress, 12,000. Tapos itong 2 guys, pwede mo na siyang iakit dyan. Okay, 12,000 is equals to 2, 14,000 divided by pi d squared. Okay, so next, next ito, transpose na natin dito guys. So, magiging, so ayan na siya, uh, ano natin. So, magiging, Pi d squared 12,000 is equals to 28,000. Okay? So, ayan. So, next, uh, d squared is equals to 28,000 divided by 12,000 pi. Okay? So, solve na then. Divided by 12,000 pi. So, ayan. We have d squared is equals to 0.743. So, magkili-decimal muna ako, pero hanggat maaari, para mag-solve kayo, buo. Okay? Para lang hindi masagap yung space. So, ano natin? Square root natin. So, 
So D is equals to square root of answer. We have 0 0.0862 inches. Okay, so meron na tayong diameter. So next nothing pwedeng isolve is yung thickness na. Okay? So we have here technically hindi naman siya ano, hindi siya wala namang ano diyan. So thickness lang, ganun. Thickness lang. So technically pare-parehas naman kasi ay bearing stress, wala siyang any ano. Okay, so ganyan lang siya. So next is solve natin ngayon yung sa ano natin, sa yoke. For yoke naman, for Okay, so bearing stress is equal to uh, P over this uh, diameter times thickness. So bearing stress is 18,000 multiplied by 0.862 T is equal to 14,000. Okay, so divide both sides ng 18,000 0.862 all over then 18,000. 0.862. Okay, so cancel out, cancel out. So T is equals to 14 divided by 14. So we have thickness is equals to 0 0.902 inches. Okay, so ngayon meron na tayong inches, ay meron na tayong thickness, and meron na rin tayong thickness. So yan na yung final answer natin. Okay, so ayan yung sa problem number 2 natin. So next problem tayo. Okay, naintindihan. So I hope naintindihan yung problem. Thumbs up pag yes. Kung hindi, uh, feel free to us. Okay? Pwede nyo akong i-message dito or yan. message lang or anything. So next problem tayo. So dito guys, uh, ito yung second problem natin. Okay? So mukha siyang, ayan, sheet metal siya. Okay, sheet metal merong apat na ribet. So the lap joint is fastened with four, four apat na rivets na merong diameter na 0.75 inch. The working stress are 14 KSI or shearing stress yan, shearing stress ng 14 KSI and meron din tayong uh, rivet. Meron din tayong, uh, tawag dito, sorry. Mm, bearing, uh, meron tayong bearing stress sa sheet metal natin na 18,000. So, find the maximum safe. So, tatandaan nyo guys yung term na safe. Ha? So, yung safe hanggat makaari, pag kaiting safe guys, applicable siya both sa rivets and sa bearing natin. So, find the max maximum safe actual load that can be applied to the joint. To the joint. Uh, assume that the load is equally distributed among the rivet. So, patin ngayon siya isa-solve. Okay? So, ganito siya. Ito tayo ngayon sa Teka. So, ayan. Meron tayong diami. Meron tayong, ano, ito yung mga given. Ay, problem number 2 na pala. Problem, ay, number 3 na. Sorry. We have diameter and equals to 0.75 inch. Then, and then, meron tayong shearing stress equals to 14,000 PSI. Okay. And then, bearing stress na 18,000 PSI. Okay. And then, last, meron tayong thickness. Given din yung thickness natin. Thickness is equals to 7, 8 inch. Or equals to sa 0 0.875. 0 0.875. Or 0.875 inch. So, inahanap is yung safe na load natin. So, find the safe actual load. So, mapapansin yung drawing guys. Technically, kung yung drawing, meron siyang apat na rivets. So, technically, kung apat yung rivets natin, dapat apat din yung area natin. Okay? Apat yung area sa shearing, apat din yung area sa bearing natin. Okay? So, we have Formula for shearing stress, P. Or yung original formula natin is P over A lang naman. Pero dahil apat na rivets siya, because it is 4 rivets, so our formula must be P over 4A. Ganun din sa bearing natin. Okay, bearing from P over A, technically, dahil madami yung rivets natin, magiging P over 4 multiplied by D, T. Okay? So, ayan. 
So, solve natin siya ngayon. Okay? So, solve natin muna yung sa rivets. So, 4 rivets. Ayan. 4 rivets. So, ayan. Uh, T is equals to P over 4 pi D squared over 4. So, ganyan. So, cancelled out na to guys. Magiging 14,000 is equals to P over pi 0.75 squared. So, we have P is equals to 0.75 squared pi multiplied by 14,000. So, we have uh, P is equals to 24740.042. Okay, yan na yung ano natin, applied load natin guys. Pounds, pounds siya. Okay. Pounds. So, meron na tayong applied load. Next natin kunin, so meron na tayong applied load from from ano, shearing stress. Next natin kunin is yung sa bearing naman. Okay? So, yung bearing, for sheet metal naman siya. For sheet metal. Okay? So, we have uh, applied B is equals to ayan, applied B P over 4 multiplied by ayan. So, B, 18,000 is equals to P all over 4 multiplied by 0.75 by 0.875. Okay? So, P is equals to 18,000 multiplied by 4 by 0.875 and then by 0.75. So, we have final answer. P is equals to 47 to 50 pounds. Okay? So, katulad ang sabi ko guys, katulad ang sabi ko kanina, ang, ang inahanap is yung safe, maximum safe. Okay? So, technically, ang sagot dapat natin is this one. Okay? So, ito yung final answer natin. So, final answer. Final answer must be uh, 24,740 0.42 Point zero four two pounds because it is applicable. It is applicable to both to both ah uh, stress. Okay, to both stress. So yun yung reason. Kasi once na once na checking natin siya. Kung try nyo, try nyo i-checking. So di ko na i-check dito. Pero try nyo i-checking. Uh, papa, papasok pa rin siya dito sa applied load natin na to. Papasok siya dito sa maximum allowable natin. Technically, itong mga binibigay kasi dito guys is palagi yan allowable. Okay? Allowable stress. Okay? Huwag nyo kakalimutan yun ha. So, last problem tayo for this day. So, ayan yung sagot natin. So, ayan. So, next. Last problem for this day. Number 4. Bago tayo mag -ano. Okay, so ayan. So we have here, figure 1 dash... Wala tayong figure. Di ko na ano. Assume, drawing ko na. Assume that, that a 20 millimeter diameter rivet joins the plates that are each 110 millimeter wide. So, uh, the allowable stress are 120 for bearing and 60 megapascal for rivet. So find the minimum thickness ng plate natin Assume natin guys na parehas yung thickness, okay? Palagi yon, laging assume na parehas yung thickness. Technically, uh, maya, discuss ko yun. And the largest average tensile stress in the plates. Okay, so solve muna natin bago ko discuss yung dapat kong i-discuss. So, ayan. Meron tayong, uh, okay, ito yung plate natin. So, drawing muna natin siya guys. Ayan siya. Tapos, wala. No, wala parehas. Ayan. Parahin yung plate. So, ayan siya. So, ito yung overlap niya sa baba. So, kung nari, meron tayong uh, ano dito? 20 millimeter diameter. So, 20 millimeter diameter yan. 
Tapos, meron tayong 110mm wide. So, ito siya. Okay? Meron tayong force dito na P. Meron din tayong force dito na P. Okay, so, ang given is allowable stress natin for bearing and allowable stress for... Ano, so, meron tayong allowable stress for bearing na 120 megapascal. And then, meron tayong uh, allowable shearing stress na 60 megapascal. So, big sabihin nito guys, hindi dapat lumagpas dito parehas. Okay? Dapat parehas under minimum or barely malapit doon. So, either of the two. So, ganun ulit yung setup natin. Mostly, yung pinamababang load yung dapat nating sagot. Pero, hindi man yung inahanap. Ang inahanap ay minimum thickness. So, ang inahanap, thickness, tsaka, D, is yung maximum average tensile stress naman. Maximum average maximum average tensile stress on each plate. So, discuss na natin siya. So, first, doon na tayo sa mga formula. So, we have Ts is equals to P over pi. Technically, ano naman siya? Over 4. Ganyan lang. While sa varying plate is P over uh, ano to? Distance. Ay, diameter multiplied by thickness. So, mapapansin nyo, wala tayong given na daya, wala tayong given na applied load. So, dito sa problem, dito sa formula na to, sa bearing stress, dalawa yung unknown natin. Unknown yung applied load, unknown yung thickness. While dito sa formula for shearing, ang unknown lang guys is yung applied load natin. So, pag ganon, palagi, doon tayo magsasolve sa problem na isa lang yung unknown. Or doon tayo sa, sa formula na kung saan ang unknown ay isa lang. Okay? So, naliktad ko lang. So, ayan. So, we have 60 megapascal is equals to P all over, may diameter tayong 20, so pi 20 squared all over 4. Okay? So, ayan. So, P is equals to 60 multiplied by uh, pi over 20 squared over 4. So, we have P equals to tingin siya, so 15 pi 15 pi Multiplied by 20 squared. So we have P is equals to 18849.556. Okay, 556 Newton. Okay guys, paalala ko sa inyo yung mga units natin pagdating sa metric. Pagdating sa metric, ito yung mga dapat nyong tatandaan na units. Yung megapascal natin guys is equals to Newton over millimeter squared or mega Newton over meter squared. So, either of the two, dapat ang ano nyo. Kung Pascal man, syempre, Newton over meter squared lang siya. Okay? Huwag nyo nga ano yan, ha? Kasi mostly ang given natin is mega Pascal. So, ayun. Okay? So, dito, kaya siya naging Newton kasi ang unit natin for diameter is millimeter. So, technically, Newton over millimeter squared is mega Pascal. So, we now have uh, applied load for shearing na 18849.556. Newton. So next tayo, solve naman natin ngayon thickness. So pwede, pwede natin ma-solve yung thickness, guys. Technically, ito na yung applied load natin. Solve na natin ngayon thickness. Okay? So we have here, B is equals to P over diameter multiplied by thickness. We have uh, B na 120 is equals to 18, 849.556 all over 20 multiplied by thickness. Okay? So, 120 multiplied by 20 thickness is equals to 18, 849.556 divided by 120 over 20. Okay? So, eliminate lang natin yung coefficient na katabi. So, thickness is equals to divided by 1. So, we have here uh, ang thickness natin equal to 7.854 7.854 millimeters. Okay? So, ayan na yung final answer natin. So, we now, we have thickness. Okay? So, ngayon, dito tayo ngayon sa drawing. So, ngayon na tayong thickness. Next natin kukunin is yung B na. Okay? So, paano tayo ngayon sa solve yung B? Wait lang.
So, kat- katulad ng sabi natin guys, ang ang pagdating sa tensile stress, yun yung ano yung tensile stress guys, is yun yung uh, ex, uh, yun yung limit, yun yung maximum limit nung plate natin. So technically, pag kukuha tayo ng maximum limit dapat guys, hindi tayo dito, hindi tayo dito kukuha. Bale, ayan yung plate natin, yung sa taas. Kukuha dapat tayo kung saan mababa yung area. Okay? Ganun dapat. Pag kukuha tayo ng uh, maximum limit niya guys, mostly, unless nalak kung given. Ha? Kunwari, hinahanap yung example. Pag hinahanap yung tensile stress, dapat pag kukuha ka ng maximum limit mo, is doon ka sa doon ka dapat sa may maliit na area. Okay? Ganun dapat. Kasi, meron, di ba, kung naalala nyo yung ano ko kanina, guys, kung naalala nyo yung discussion ko kanina, na dapat, uh, ang stress natin, or yung stress, tama, stress, max, yun, yun, yun na, ang magkamatay ng maximum stress pag mataas yung applied load and mababa yung area natin. Okay? So, ayan yung, yan yung ano niya, yan yung tinatawag natin na ano. So, Yan yung, so technically, katulad na sabi ko dito, magkakaroon tayo ng maximum tensile stress pag mababa yung area natin. So ngayon, mapapansin nyo, merong butas dito. So doon tayo dapat babase ng, ano natin, doon tayo babase ng uh, width natin. So width to, di ba? Ito yung, ito yung width ng ano natin. So dyan tayo dapat babase. Okay? So mangyayari, ang magiging formula natin for uh, tensile stress dapat is P all over uh, yung width niya which is width multiplied by thickness di ba yung area so magiging p over yung width mo 110 110 minus 20 kasi meron ang meron ang meron ang 110 na width eh tapos bawasan mo ng 20 kasi may butas doon okay so multiplied by 7.854 so ayan 7.854 so we have uh, average stress ay average tama average uh, tensile stress so equals to 18.8 uh, 18849 849.556 divided by 97.854 so now we have average stress is equals to 849.556 divided by 97.854. So we have average tensile stress na equal to 26.667 megapascal. Okay? So, ayan. Ganyan yung way of solving natin ngayon pagdating doon. Okay, so katulad nung sab- so katulad nung sabi ko, what if, guys, kunwari, ganyan yung problem natin. So, ayan na, tapos na tayo sa problem. What if naman, mayroon tayong a uh, problem, kuwari ganito, uh, focus tayo sa front view. Kung maaari meron tayong problem na dalawang sheet metal, which is hindi naman nangyayari, di ba? Hanggat maaari, pagdating sa sheet metal, dapat same thickness. What if hindi yung, what if hindi siya same thickness? Kuwari ganyan siya. Okay, kuwari ganyan yung thickness niya. So, let's assume na may thickness to na 1 inch. Ito, meron tong thickness na 0.5 inch. So guys, pag magsasolve kayo ng bearing, so technically sa bearing stress nang naman siya, Pag magsasolve kayo ng bearing stress, hanggat maaari, is more or less thickness. Okay? In bearing stress, in bearing stress, if, if the two sheet metals doesn't have, doesn't have the same, the same thickness, we must use, we must use the smaller thickness. The smaller thickness. Okay? Ganyan na. Dapat ang gagamitin natin yung smaller thickness. Kasi, katulad ang sabi ko guys, in general, magkakaroon kayo ng maximum. Kailangan natin sa-solve palagi yung maximum eh. Yung maximum allowable stress, maximum load, and syempre, yung smallest area na kayang mag-solve nun. Okay? So, ayan yung premise natin pagdating sa uh, ano natin ngayon. Okay? In bearing stress, if there are two sheet metals that doesn't have the same thickness, we must use the smaller thickness. Okay? 